Yay, I'm going to give this a try. Um, I think I'm making a Cuban yo-yo. That's what it says. And the flat part is the side that I want to keep in my hand because I'm right-handed. And there's a hole in here somewhere that I'm supposed to be strumming this through, but I don't see one. Which, if there's not one, I'm supposed to drill one. And I don't have a drill. So, I think I will try to do a unina. <laughs> to see if I could do this and if I can woohoo it'll be tied to the reel if not you guys will know it and y'all can laugh at me later right thank goodness I'm not doing this live I may have to pause it and edit some all right to do that I'm supposed to go like this and make a circle I think bring it around and then go in one Two. Okay, I didn't leave it long enough. Three. Four. And five. And then I'm supposed to be able to pull it tight using the leader one. See? Yeah. And supposedly I can take the other one. Oh, it does work. It works. Okay, so now it's getting down tight. And if it's on there, then I should be able to cut my leader. Or whatever that excess is off. Yay! So far, so good. Now I have it attached to this. Still don't understand why this one doesn't have a hole in it. They said it's supposed to. But hey, it's three bucks. Alright, so now I hold this in this hand, and because I'm right-handed, I want to... Lord, I hope it's going this way. I'll have to go look at the YouTube, see if I did it right or wrong. And I'm only using one side. They keep showing different types of them, but I'm just going to use this one. Whatever the guy gave me, he gave me um, 20 pounds. I think I'm going to get little bitty fishes. I don't think I'm up for the big fishes right now. We're just going to go for little guys. Not sure how much I need. I think this is 270 yards. I'm not positive I could throw more than what, maybe 20 yards, maybe, if I'm on a good day. Alright, so then i got to figure out how to put these hooks on there. I think I can figure out the hooks, but the weights are a little bit questionable. Oh, did they go through the end? And I don't have anything to squish them with. i got to go find my multi-dive tool. Alright, so I'm going to keep doing this, I think. I keep it at an angle. And roll it, roll it, roll it. We'll see if I have some fish tacos before the end of the weekend. For the new guests coming in. And Mom's coming, I think, in a couple weeks. So, she will get to hand fish with her little red hat on. Right, Mom? Marla. Alright. If you guys want to come and fish with us too, you're welcome to. Got an advanced class coming up. Um, I also have a dive master and instructor course coming through. We have a rebreather class as well. So, have gear will travel is what we say. Right now I want fish though. I'm ready for a fish taco. Homemade fish taco. Net style. Keep it going, keep it going. I'm not even halfway done yet. So I'm going to pause it for two seconds so I can do that. I don't think you need to hear me yet much more. Okay, that took a little bit longer than I thought as um, I threw this off of the deck and had to go and chase it. Put it back on. I tied my bracelet all in this. So... I'm all kind of special, as some people call, tell me sometimes. But hey, guess what? I got, I think, enough on here that we might can put the egg sinkers on. And I do not have a barrel swivel, which it says I should have, but the guy at the store obviously didn't think I needed one. Not sure if it was from Georgia and he was making fun of me or not. But he didn't give me any, so I'm not going to make that little fancy hook thing that'll let, let it release. But I am going to put the egg sinkers on, and I am told that I should put a knot on each side of them so it doesn't sling or it doesn't um, move. 
So I think that's about how far we're supposed to go away from the hook. If I'm wrong, somebody let me know. And I think I need to make a knot out of here first, I think. So I'm gonna give it a try. I think I can do this like five times still. So the sinker doesn't go anywhere. And if it's wrong, guess what? I think I wrapped enough on here that I can pull it off and cut it off and start over if need be. So now I want to pull line and make a knot, which that is a knot. Now whether or not it's big enough to stop this um, egg thing, I'm not sure. We'll find out. If not, I guess I'll tie two together. Or I think they say you can tie it to itself, which I think that's what I'm going to have to do. So I go over and I tie and I make a loop out of it. And then I go over and over, I think. Okay, so I go here and make a loop and go over like five times. One, two, three, four. Look, I can count. Oh. All right, so then I pull this one. And get it tight. I'm going to pull this one to make it go close to the anchor. Oh, it worked. Hey, it worked. I learned something. I learned something today. All right. So, not the prettiest, tightest anchor or sinker or whatever you want to call this thing. Egg thing. But it's on there. Now I'm going to tie it again so that it doesn't go anywhere. I'm going to tie it on this side too, so it doesn't fling like it was flinging. Alright, and then I can put the hook on, and then I can wait until tomorrow until I get my bait from hopefully a bait shop somewhere is open on Saturday. Two, almost done. Three. Probably a better way to do this, but this is best I can do with no assistance. Definitely is not going to be a Jeanette Fishes. Hashtag Jeanette Fishes. It'll just be a Jeanette Smiles, I'm sure. Lord, it's hot out here. Pull tight. And then adjust. All right. Well, that's not pretty. But guess what? It is on there. Yay! All right. One down. Now to put a hook on here. I put a hook on here. Then I'm ready. I doubt my fish want any water or any um, bread. All right. So, my little hookies. Do the same thing. I'm going to put it. There's two of them. Somebody said put two of them. Put both of them through the hoop. So we're going to give that a run. Both of them through the hoop. And then you take the leader. And you go. I think you go. Oh, I don't think I did myself enough. I may have to go YouTube it again. If I can't get it right. Go here. Put up any more. All right, make a loop. Oh, one, two, and when you know fish are flipping, jumping, seriously, mock me. Boy, it's hot. I'm going to have to take a canal swim. Alright, so then I think what I'm supposed to do is, as I'm tying this, oh, I'm not sure you're supposed to use your, but I pull down like that. And this goes over, I think, the hook. 
that and then pull it oh I think I put it over the hook too soon go back go back go back all right so there and then pull it tight pull it tight Almost. What? I think I did it. Yay! It's on there. So I guess whether or not it'll stay, tis the question. I have my very first ever made Jeanette's Cuban yo-yo ready for tomorrow. So, stay tuned. Yep, look what I first did. Stuck myself with a damn hook. Stay tuned tomorrow to see if I catch any fish. Thanks. TTFN. Jeanette Smiles.